My name is Colin Plant and I'm the president of the Drama PSA. As a teacher, I'm really worried about Bill 22 and the unlimited class sizes that I could have as early as this September. A drama class requires individualized attention and when you put more than 30 students in a drama class that isn't even large enough for the 30 that are already there, I become very worried not only about their education but about their safety. I'm Alison Ogden, I'm the Vice President of the Special Education Association. Our members are most concerned about the removal of the limit of three students with ministry designations in classrooms. Removing the limit on students in each class with a ministry designation on the outside seems like it is allowing those students to have more opportunities, but without providing additional supports to those students and to those classroom teachers, it's really setting them up for failure. There's a whole generation of students who've gone through the school system without adequate supports. And now we're moving forward to a whole nother generation. My name is Dave Comrie. I'm president of the Educators for Distributed Learning. Our biggest concern about Bill 22 is the class size. We have had no number, and in recent contract negotiations, we were hoping that there would be a limit placed on the number of students who take an online course. An example would be English 12. There are teachers that have reported to me that they have over 300 students on the books that they're responsible for. I'm Connie Easton, past president of the BC School Counselors Association. I'm concerned about the effects of Bill 22 on my colleagues, school counselors across the province, especially in relation to the lack of consultation that will now happen with teachers and the lack of control over class size. Our students are already struggling in these classes, especially those with special needs. The removal of the limit of three students per class that have identified special needs means that those students will now need more support because there will be more of them in the classroom. And that also means that our members, our counselors, will have to be there to help support those students even more than they have in the past. I'm Audrey Fitzmaier from the Alternate Educators Association of British Columbia. I wonder if my colleagues realize how severe or how affected we will be by Bill 22. The government is taking all the caps off the size limits for our alternate ed programs. We can't rely on hopeful goodwill from our administration. We have to have something in place to protect our students, to protect those ones with the saddest files of the saddest files, so that they can succeed and proceed on lifelong learning. We hope that you and your colleagues can work together to come and fight Bill 22 to get this legislation in place where we can now protect all those children who require more protection than any of the others. I'm Mike Howard, President of the BC Technology Education Association. Uh, prior to our contract being stripped, the class sizes were 20 to 26 students in a tech ed shop. At present, we have up to 33 to 35 students in this facility, along with special ed assistants and teacher assistants. These facilities have commercial grade equipment that are extremely dangerous to all of us. My name is Chris Murphy. I'm the president of the Adult Educators Provincial Specialist Association. Uh, one of the things that is bothersome or troublesome about Bill 22 is obviously this uh, taking the cap off of class size uh, maximums. We have uh, students who have just come from high school who need to upgrade to get into university. We have immigrant students who are new to the country. We also have students who have come back to school after 20, 30 years who never graduated for whatever reason. So larger class sizes are bad for our students. My name is Kevin McGuire. I'm the Vice President of the Adult Educators PSA. One of my biggest concerns about the Bill 22 and the removal of the class size maximums is that our students are going to become even more marginalized than some of them are. Adult education is very fragile. There are minimum class enrollments and with the removal of a maximum class enrollment there will be even more reason to cancel courses. Now with the class size uh, maximums being removed they will not be able to receive the type of instruction that they would expect and that we would like to give them. I feel that the students will uh, not be able to receive the kind of education they need in order to be successful in future programs. I'm Paula Aquino and I'm president of the Teachers of Home Economics Specialist Association in British Columbia. Uh, home economics teachers have been concerned about class sizes actually since 2002. So this isn't something new with Bill 22. Some years I've had students wait 40 minutes for help. That's most of the class. What a waste of learning time. 
for a student. You know, they don't want to be sitting and waiting for help. They want to be engaged. They want to learn. They want to sew. You know, let's make it best for kids. And I can make it better for them if I can have 24 kids than I can with 30. Um, so let's work for that. Let's, let's make school one of the best things kids do and really prepare them for, for a future, uh, a future whether it's, you know, I know how to cook a meal for my family or I can sew on a button or this is a career that I really, really would love to do. That's what I want for kids.